did you believe that I loved you? Did you really believe that when I sent my son to the cross, it was because I loved you? Because that's the only thing that makes any sense of the innumerable Bible passages like that found in Hebrews that says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. We read that all backwards, all legalistic, and we think about it the wrong way. If I have enough faith, if I just muster, if I have the the kind of faith, you know, like the, the cowardly lion, maybe you remember, I love the Wizard of Oz, the cowardly lion, there's a scene where there's, you know, there's, there's a, what are, like flying monkeys and, and all this kind of stuff. And in the scene, he's saying, I do believe in spooks. I do, I do, I do, I do believe in. He's, he's, he's saying, I really believe in these ghosts. And he's trying to muster up a kind, of, a kind of change in his consciousness where he can convince himself to believe in something. In other words, he's working to produce conviction. That's not it at all. A lot of us are going around with cowardly lion-like faith i got to convince myself because the preacher said that faith is knowing that I know that I know. No, it's not. Get that out of your head. It's more like that early love relationship. Here it is, God exposing his love for you, demonstrating his love for us. That's what the cross is. It's a perfect portrait of the perfection of love and grace and mercy. It is deicide voluntarily. Voluntarily. It's a painting in Christ's own blood, the weight of which, when we see it and understand it properly, has the ability to move us. It satisfies the sin debt, that's the legal part. It portrays the depth of his love, that's the relational part. And then as he pours himself out, he calls on us. Respond in faith. In other words, did you accept that I loved you?